Hello everyone, you're watching Zerua635 and this is a little video. A bit of an update, but not much of an update. Actually it's an update, whatever. Um, right here, I'm repairing the um, Robot Leader 2. This is the uh, Mini Zodok as I call it. Number 3 of course. The problem with this guy is the gear that goes on here that controls walking and spinning. It is split. I have plenty of tentative gear so no biggie. Um, another Apparently, I think it's definitely the motor shaft gear that is split because it makes a loud ticking noise. Surprisingly, the magic gear is fine. This is going to be a bit loud, so if I were you, you may want to turn on your volume. See, it's loud. It's not supposed to make a loud ticking noise like that. So, yeah. And also, um, a bit of an update was the chip, chip number three. I actually got him to fully work. Uh, one, the, if, if you remember in the video, I said that only his like legs would move during upon another testing. I can't remember if I actually showed it on camera when I was trying to get the uh, wheels to spin. Apparently, one wheel would not spin, and from there I took him apart. Uh, well, before I took him apart, I did a full uh, update on it. It, it. it ended up killing the dog at first, so the dog wouldn't power on or it wouldn't move or anything. So I, I took it apart, opened up the head, and apparently the harness that connects to the main circuit board in the head was never plugged in. So apparently when they were building the dog, they forgot to plug it in. So for anyone who, if you guys ever see any um, chips that says the eyes or sound do not work, it's more than likely that situation. That's the problem. The uh, harness was never plugged in from the factory and they forgot. Plugged that in, his eyes did light up once I switched them on. I turned him off, turned him on, and he from there died at that point again. And then I was messing with the app. The app was actually connecting. Then the dog actually powered on. And next you know, he was fully working. His legs move, all his wheels turn. He responds to commands just fine, which is perfect. The only little problem I am at now with this dog is... Where is the smart band? I had a smart band here for it. Well, I had one. I mean, this is the uh, one that came with. The, the watch piece isn't there, but the smart band that came with the first chip that I got from my friend Josh. Apparently, the battery in it ran completely dead and it no longer works. So, I'm going to probably either buy a new smart band or just see if I can replace the battery with one that will fit. <clears throat> so, yeah. And also, if you're wondering about all these guys here, all these boxed robots, including the ones back, back here and all. Um, as I was saying, oh wait, so as I was saying, um, is because right up here, they used to go up here on top of the curtains, and what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to take off this um, middle piece, and I'm going to actually move it up a little bit and drill it in, and we're going to put a, me a uh, piece of wood across it, and these robots are in the box, are going to be taken out, going to be taken out, and will be lined up across from all the way to there, to the very end, because, um, the boxes are actually taking up a lot of, pa a lot of space, so if I take them out, I can, I can fit more smaller sized robots, which is perfect. And also, Boa's gears arrived today, which is perfect. They're all right here. See? 50 9 tooth gears. And he only needs a few. So I'm going for Ivan, the other one's going to be going for his second Boa once I get it. Him, I'll be starting his repair um, this weekend. I'm going to stay up late, and I'm going to just swap out all the gears. So then he can be fixed. And also, all the robots I got from Furby Forest, all, most of them are fixed. These two fully work. The little red guy works. He works. This one I cannot get to work properly because of the gyro wheel. I mean, he will work. It's just a, it's the gyro wheel that doesn't let him move. But I got to figure out something for a third, for the fourth wheel. This guy over here, his head's been glued back on. The chip on it does not work properly, so I took it out. I'm gonna eventually just put um, give him a new switch, and just put LEDs inside of him, so he just becomes a, a like a little light up statue. And the other robot, these two mini mip works. He works. He'll turn on the other little the uh, techno dog. I cannot replace the batteries because the last when I was trying to, it, it ended up cracking a bit, so I just stopped. The little white bump and go robot. I put the LED back in the spot where it belongs and it works. I just gotta figure out something for a gyro wheel and a back cover with lights. What else? Still gotta fix up this V1 from Drayton. 
This Rovio number two will be here hopefully tomorrow, so then I can start working on both, I suppose. Maybe. I I'm not too sure about those yet. And... I think that's all for now. Yes. I think that is all for now. Oh. Uh, yeah, so that's all for now. Um, once after this guy's fixed, I will make another video. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little update. Thanks for watching, and bye.